G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we will learn how to make this easy cowl. As you can see from the photos we have two different versions. This one uses one strand of yarn and the other one uses two strands of yarn. They both use exactly the same method it's just you have to change up your crochet hook and your yarn. For this one I used a six millimeter crochet hook for the one strand of yarn. I'll show you the yarn in the video so don't worry. For my other version I used two strands of worsted weight yarn and I used a nine millimeter crochet hook. The yarn that I'm using today is from redheart.com. Please check out their website they have great patterns over there and it's a great place for inspiration for your next project. There will be a free written pattern located on my website so let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies I've got some Red Heart Boutique Midnight and this is the colour Tropical. It's very very pretty. It's even got sparkle through it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. You need a pair of scissors, yarn needle with a large eye and this yarn recommends using a six millimetre crochet hook. So that is what I'm going to use. I do have loose tension but I'm not really worried on this project. I think it would drape very nicely. So we've got a six millimeter crochet hook. It's also a size J. So what we want to do is we want to make a chain and we're going to make the chain as long as the head circumference that we need it for. So depending on who you're making this for. I do have head size charts on my website so I will put the link for that below. And we're going to find out what size we need to make so for instance myself is 58 centimeters I'm going to make a chain of 58 centimeters and then I'm going to add about three centimeters onto that so my head's 21 inches and then I'm going to add about an inch onto that and I'm going to make my chain that length so what this does is if we made it to our head circumference it may be too tight and we won't be able to get it on and we don't want that because then it won't fit. So make a chain that is an inch or a couple of centimeters bigger than the head measurement that you need to make it for. Once we have the chain to the length that we need and I have a feeling I said 21 inches for my head before but it's not it's actually 23 because my head's about 58 centimeters so I apologize for that. So I've made my chain and let's just measure it. I'm pretty sure it was about the same size. Okay, so 23 inches is oh, this yarn and stuff everywhere. So 23 inches is to here, and then I've just added a little bit extra on so that I'm able to put the cowl over my head, wear it. And now what we want to do is join the chain together. And to join it without twisting, what we do is we look at our chain and we make sure the flat side is facing us. On the back there is a bumpy side. See how there's a bump there? We want the flat side facing us. And I just pull it through my fingers gently, making sure that it doesn't twist around. Having the flat side still facing us, I'm just putting it around. So I can join it. I go into the first chain and I grab my yarn and then I do a slip stitch to join. Then what I'm going to do is double check to make sure that the chain is facing the same way. So you want to make sure all the flat sides are facing you. It is twisting a little but I can see by looking at it that it's all the same way. So once we have it joined we're going to chain three. This does not count as a stitch. You could also chain two if you wanted as well but I like chain three just to step up. Into the same stitch we're going to work a double crochet. You could also use half double crochet for this project. In that case you would use a chain two. Into each chain around we're going to work 
just adjusting my camera, sorry. Going to work a double crochet and we're going to do this in every single chain. I'm really excited to use this yarn because I haven't used this colour before so I'm excited to see how it turns out. I've got beautiful colours throughout it. So that should be exciting. We're going to do every stitch with a double crochet until we come back around to here and I'll meet up with you there. When we come back around it's time to join and what we do is we ignore the chain three and we're going to join into the top of the first double crochet. If you've made my almost invisible seam hat that is what same method that we've used on that hat and what happens is this chain three just bridges the gap between the two double crochets crochets that are there and it makes the seam less visible which is awesome because sometimes seams can look terrible so chain three double crochet in the same space and for the remainder of this cowl it's going to be exactly the same as this row so we're just going to work double crochet in every stitch around now I'll meet back with you when we get back to here when we come back around we're going to join to the top of the double crochet so we're ignoring the chain three and going into the top of the double crochet like that for a slip stitch we're going to chain up three and crochet into the same space and again just like we did before we're going to double crochet in every stitch around we're going to repeat this I'm just going to see how far I can get with this ball of wool or repeat it for as long as you want I love how these colors are changing this is really pretty there's still more colors in the ball too which is really exciting so I will see you in the next video clip with my cow finished I completed 13 rows on this cow and with my doubled up yarn I completed 12 rows and that was just the one this one here was just until I ran out of yarn I had enough to go around but then when I got right around I only had enough I didn't have enough um, and I had about six stitches left to complete the row that I needed yarn for so that's how many rows I got out of that and the blue one the dark blue one at the back that just I had heaps of yarn for that one but I just made that the height that I wanted it to be oh I can see a yarn, purple yarn end on the ground I need to vacuum my floor this is my studio look there's great orange and everything <laughs> here is the version that I have done using two strands of worsted weight yarn this is Red Heart Super Saver I do wash mine after I make them and it makes it come up lovely and soft. I do have a video for that. I will put the link in the description box. I love this one because it works up really quick. This one didn't take me very long at all because it uses a really thick crochet hook. And you've got two strands of yarn. Here is my finished cowl. I love how this has worked up. The colours look fantastic. I'm not sure they're coming up on the screen. But the green is quite bright and the blue is quite a bright blue and the purples they're sort of brighter colors rather than what they're showing up on my camera that I'm looking through it's looking quite dull but these colors are really beautiful I love the sparkle that's in it and yeah I just really enjoyed this project it was quite easy to do actually it was very easy to do it was just all the same stitch works up really quick which is what I love as well. You get a project that works out really fast. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. There's always plenty of videos coming out. We have two tutorials each week. We also have a newsletter that's located on my website. You can subscribe to that so it gets delivered directly to your email inbox. Like I said, all the links that you need for this video are in the description box. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy crochet.